I would say if, if anyone's never driven one to drive one, yeah. if you've never driven one or you've never owned one, you'll never know yeah. what the bug is. Yeah. That's oh, wicked. Thanks, thanks very much. much. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's right. Well, that's not going well, is it? <laughs> <laughs> a full bacon sandwich down. I just feel like I've been eating like throughout that. <laughs> <laughs>
they'll take, usually take that engine out. Yeah. And they'll put in a non VVT engine. Oh, non VVT engines now get rare because of because that. Because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully now I've always done all the rear end. Yeah. So all the rear end's been done. Obviously, it's been painted. There was a little bit in the front arch that I have to do. Yeah. And when it was in the air last time, I did notice a little hole creeping through. So I will sort. I'm gonna have to sort that out. Yeah. Yeah. As yeah. Well. So what number is this? And in MX fives, you did say a minute ago. Is this the? I think number it's three? Num number. Yeah. Number third? three or four. Yeah. I've had I've had a couple more that I've had. You know, like taken apart for some bits and stuff like that. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's yeah. a very very cool car isn't it? like you say i think um there's a couple of cars i've had which i say i've had i keep uh, getting told off by lozell for this it was actually lawrence's car the ML mr2 mark one all right yeah that thing was just ridiculous mm. and it's the only thing really comparable i think in terms of what i've driven to to the mx5 it, it was a toss up between the two actually was i did it? look at one was it mark two it was a mark one. one was it yeah nice. it was a yeah, mark yeah. one it was a red one yeah and i thought mm, mm. not sore yeah but I think you're sort of one or the other, aren't you? Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I appreciate MR2s. You know, I've, I've driven, I drove my friend's one who had a Mark II. Yeah. And that was a turbo one. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was really fun. That was really fun. Um, it's I mean, it's been a few years since I've drove, driven mum and dad's, to be fair. It's sort of been on and off the road because of the sales they've been doing. And it's a little bit of their sort of toy car rather than yeah. everyday or anyway. So um, it comes, sort of comes off the road in the winter and things like that. So yeah. just between, you know, everything else that goes on in life, I haven't actually managed to get out for a nice drive in in there for a while but i just i just i know what you mean like the little bug yeah for the type it of car bug, it's just yeah. small it's it's easy to drive yeah because it's so like not not in a in a, in a good way it's so basic it's, it's just it's proper driving isn't it yeah. you're like connected to the road you feel every lump and bump and yeah you turn the wheel it points and shoots it's like ah oh, they're quality it just depends how you set them up really yeah you know, yeah, I mean, you yeah. Can go, you know you can go up rated suspension and stuff like that yeah yeah it's that's more for you know, we don't really cruise mobile. It is a cruise mobile, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Well, that's the that's the joy of the car, though. Isn't yeah, it? you you can like I say, you can do the shop run and the and the daily and the yeah, exactly. and stuff like that. You can check the check the roof down on a nice sunny day and just blast through the roads of Wales, taking it easy. Yeah. I mean, my you can first take on a track two, day, like yeah. <laughs> you do that anything, can't you? But that's the thing. My first two, like first one, first one like I had was it was relatively standard, but it had rated suspension on it and stuff. Oh, like right, that. So yeah, yeah. It was quite hard. Yeah, you know, um, the Mark One. Yeah, used to go and you know, doing a bit of uh, street hooning and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah. it was again, it was harsh. And I thought this time I want you know something which is comfortable, something I yeah. can you know. Obviously, when we went down to a check. little bit more about the shows and the yeah. and the getting out and yeah. meeting people and cruising and that. But yeah, yeah. That, that's you know all like on the motorway and stuff. You know, it is a little bit loud, but yeah. obviously with the exhaust and stuff that's on it, um, I might be changing that though soon. So. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, we went to Southampton yesterday. Um, and yeah, that's cool. What, what was the actual show? Is MX5? MX5 show, show and shine, shine, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's the first time we've ever been. Yeah. It's the first time we've ever been. And you picked up a prize? Third place. Third place? Yeah. Yes. We, was, um, we were very surprised, actually. Yeah. Kat was over the moon. She was, yeah, yeah, she was yeah, jumping yeah. around. She was jumping around the field after. Was she? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool, man. Because <laughs> we, we were texting about this meetup before you went, weren't we? And you yeah. were saying, you know, I'm just going to go and have fun and have a little look yeah. around the place, not expecting that's anything. What, that's what we were doing. We were going to go and have a look and see see what it would take to win. Yeah, you know? so you can look look in future for some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, to pick up a third place from you, we're only sort of yeah going to have a look. Yeah, yeah. It's quite surprising. It was in January of last year. Mm -hmm. So before I started doing um, club meets and stuff. Yeah. Obviously, before we came up here, from January to about May, it was off the road, and it was completely rebuilt. Yeah. Sills, like the sills and the arches were done. Um, when when Phil cut away the arches, there was no, there was no tub left. It just really, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's been suffered like it's suffered because it's it's had really poor repairs done, and it really, you know, it, yeah. it it bugs me like when people don't repair cars properly. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're gonna do something, it, do it, right. it always gonna come bite you in the yeah. ass, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. There was so yeah, much yeah. filler in it, like, it was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. So we ended up just cutting basically the whole rear, all both, both rear arches were cut. The inner sills were cut, so basically everything from the, from the door, yeah, or the front of the door you see here, yeah, back, yeah, that was all exposed. All been done, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's yeah. a lot of work. And to be to be fair, you know, Phil's done an amazing job. Yeah, he really has. He's a, he's a guy local to me. You know, he works by himself. Yeah, but 
I wouldn't trust anybody else. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Sort of find you sort of find a person that you trust and you stick with it. Yeah. Is he MX five man or just bodywork? He, he does have one. Does it? He does yeah. have one. Yeah, but he's um yeah he owns a he's got like a little little unit and stuff. Yeah, round, yeah. Round by from me. Um. Yeah, he works by himself. You know, so and was, is he does does he do fairly big projects? Well, that was a fairly big project. Yeah, he took enough money off me anyway. So. Will you take a Will you take a four Capri? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Do you know the business name? You tag him in the video. Um, yes, uh, G -D G W Auto Body. Oh, I'll no. send you a I'll send you a link and everything. Yeah, send the link. I'll pop it down there. Um, so yeah, uh, Bristol I'll... area. Yeah. Body restoration man. Yeah. There's nothing better than a recommendation for that sort of stuff. No, of course. No, someone's I, been I known and happy with the work. Yeah. So, this one's a bit uh, special, isn't it? Trim level wise. Yeah. So it's um, this is a Montana edition. Montana. Yeah. So you have the Indiana and the Montana. So very similar. Yeah. You have 250 in red. And 250 in green, in like a uh, British okay. racing green. Same trim, obviously yeah. you get the same interior and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, the only difference between the Indiana and the Montana, air conditioning. Oh, is it? That's the only difference, uh, right. yeah. You still get the hard top and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. But, so um, is there 500 Indianas as well? Yeah. 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 But yeah, Montanas, I think, collectively, including the red and the green, I think there was 112 left when I looked last. Yeah, okay. That yeah, was, yeah few months ago yeah so I don't know how many reds and greens there are yeah 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 Le so you leather interior obviously the cream leather and stuff um, you get the air conditioning um, the Nordy Nordy wood packs so you get yeah. like the, the gear knob the steering wheel and the handbrake cover yeah nice That's yeah, the standard yeah. um, and everything else is bits that I've added yeah so. the wheels are mine they're not they're not standard so they're, they are Stuttgart SD ones they're cool looking wheels yeah. I, I don't think I've seen an MX-5 with those? No. Is that a... I don't, I've not seen one no. since, um, since I've had them, but yeah, um, despite some of the classic, classic-ish yeah. look, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? And like with the bigger tires on it, it's, it's so comfortable. Yeah, I bet, yeah, you know? yeah. I've, I've had harsh harsh rides with like no profile tires, I, I want something comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting old now, <laughs> you know? I've been there, I've done that. I'm, it's yeah. cool in the sort of semi-deep dish aspect with the with the chrome sort of rims that you can see, look yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't like the look, to be honest. They say, oh, you know, why didn't you lower it? I'm just like, well, why didn't you lower your own car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Go your car. Go lower your own car, damn it. Yeah, it's not your car, is it? It's my car. I'll, you know, I'll do what I like with it, thank you. I, yeah, I think the wheels are probably, I, I really like them, but I do see that they're something that will be Marmite stuff. Yeah. Pe people love them or hate them. Yeah. I mean, the same as like my front bumpers on the Capri. I like your those, those like quarters. Like people, that seems to be the one thing people always yeah. pick up on. And I made like yeah, I said, I either love them or hate them. It's yeah, weird. But it doesn't matter, does yeah. it? Because no, you know, it's, it's what you want to do, and you know, it's raining. It's raining. It's raining. I'm gonna put the roof up. Put the yeah. roof up. Yeah. Oh. Short hiatus. In fact, we can go for a spin if you want it now. Yeah. All right, then, folks. We're gonna um, jump in. Hannah, Montana, the MX5, and go for a quick spin. Alrighty then, we've got the roof up, it is starting to spit, but not a big issue for Hannah Montana. It's very, very nice in here. It's compact and small, as, another five? as you'd expect. There's another five! That's Where a rule. That's it's, a, it's, it's got an MX-5 rule. rule, yeah. <laughs> Call it the MX-5 wave. Oh, it's nice. I, I really like the wood, uh, the wood detailing. Yeah. It looks really smart, doesn't it? Yeah. So yeah, Nord, Nordy have been doing, you know, like this sort of thing. Nordy's quite a car. They do a lot of steering wheels and stuff for them, but not always wood. They do like other leather ones as okay, well. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, but I, I like it. I think it sort of like ties in the car a little bit, like yeah. the interior, like with the cream leather and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And they're, they're really nice comfy seats, aren't they? Yeah. They're, dry, they're like driver's seats, obviously. Yeah. And they're heated as well. And they're heated yeah. as well. And aircon, as he mentioned. Yeah. All the mod cons in here, guys. All yeah. the mod cons. Yeah. <laughs> That's wicked. Yeah. And you've got a really nice view. There's a there's a little bulge in the bonnet, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. So you can just bulge. kind of just make out the the yeah. front of the bonnet moving forward in front of you. Same as the Capri, isn't it? It's yeah. just a it's a nice view for a, a driver's car, a sporty yeah. sporty driver's car. Yeah, yeah. Was the um, the chrome a Montana thing? No, no. The roll bar I put in. And the luggage rack. Ah, uh, the luggage rack is also an addition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I think they look good with the wheels especially, don't they? With the, yeah, I with just, the chromeness of the wheels as well. When I put, when we put the wheels on, it's a bit like, there's chrome on it, but there's, I don't, there needs to be something a little bit more. Yeah. I didn't want to overdo it. So, yeah, just to put that on, it's yeah. my baffle rattle. <laughs> it's like it makes a nice old. noise, doesn't it's, it? It's like you're eight years old. <laughs> so, you, know, nice. you can thank my good lady for how clean she is. Yes, we'll, we'll give her yeah. a big mention in a moment course, for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> There's a corner, yeah. and she loves it. Yeah. <laughs> Double wishbone suspension. It's <laughs> a really good setup, isn't yeah. it? It's a really good yeah. setup. E even standard, mate, you don't have to. Yeah. If you if you want to push it around the corner, you can. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I said, they're only I think they're only like 146 brake yeah. standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, that that was the thing with the MR2, just as a, a, a quick comparison to. Yeah. Is they they weren't particularly fast cars, like no. in terms of a straight line speed. They're obviously fairly good in all 60, but it's not blistering. Yeah. No. But it's the drivability of them, isn't it? It's the fact that you don't really have to break around some corners. Yeah. <laughs> It'll just carry the pace all the way around, wouldn't it? Yeah. And it sticks to the road so well. And it's the same thing with these, man. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's why they've been so picked up so much by, well, yeah. like modifying people, like track track car people yeah. everywhere. Yeah. It's just they're they're so it's, easy. It's a car for everybody, though. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, we went obviously when we went to the show and sign yesterday. The, um, the person who won the Mark One. Um, modified character right? but she was in her mid 50s really think, yeah yeah but she loves it yeah you know it, she she modified it yeah so she put she done a wire wheel conversion on it oh okay yeah, so, yeah. and then folk chuck supercharged on all sorts don't they yeah like you say i yeah. guess that's with the non vbt version if they can yeah yeah i have seen i have seen um someone who supercharged to vbt one yeah um because obviously you're not as putting as much pressure on it as you would a turbo yeah I have to ask more Jeffries on that. Yeah, yeah. Got your brother's total MX5 in that, right? Yeah. Done a fair bit of work for me recently. Yeah. A bit of a shout out for him. Advice wise, anything you need to know. Yeah. You'd be able to say. He could tell a noise just by hearing it. Really? Yeah, exactly yeah. what that is. You give him a ring and say, what's yeah, this? What's this noise? <laughs> well, you, you show him a picture of something like, what's wrong here? Yeah. He'd be able to tell you like that. It's amazing the knowledge that some people build up in there over yeah. the years of, of having yeah. these cars. No communities like this one. Yeah. Well, yeah I know yeah. the Ford community is pretty good and yeah. stuff like that, but we'll agree to disagree on that. <laughs> yeah. We won't have a punch up. No, we won't have a punch up. Darren's just going to leave me on the side of the road <laughs> down here. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Ford community. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a cracking car, man. Yeah. Oh, God, you like it? It's a good old uh, Japanese engineering as well, though, isn't it? It's a, it's a, they're really reliable little engines. They are, yeah, they're, yeah, they're reliable engines, but like, the only downside with any Japanese car is rust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had to do any work to the engine at all? Uh, no, not really. No, I mean I've, I've serviced there, so I'll change the alternator. Okay, yeah. The, yeah. the alternator type, but that's just yeah, you know, it's just general, you know, just general stuff. Yeah. Um, I've got a few bits to do. Over the winter, I need to rebuild. I'm going to be rebuild the VVT because the gasket's leaking a little bit. Yeah. So I thought, well, I might as well because you can buy the gasket, but you can buy the gasket comes in like a little kit. So you yeah, yeah. Do all the little filters and everything. So I'm going to do all that at the same time. Um, but yeah, engine wise, nothing really. All good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just keeping it serviced and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah.
and it's uh it makes you smile doesn't oh, it? it does <laughs> <laughs> It's smile. just a smiley car. Yeah. It's a smiley car. We'd really like to uh, have a go in the newest version, see if they've managed to keep hold of that. I assume they have. Yeah, they do. Bikes yeah. are all amazing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to push it because it's a wet road. But oh, it does. It does a. Right then, guys, gonna make it our way back to uh, the Insignia. I haven't even got a name for the Insignia. Have you not? That says a lot, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, don't, yeah, you don't like that. Don't need a name. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun, yeah. a lot of fun. We've had a couple of mentions already. Um, the bodywork man? Uh, GW also body. GW also, also body, we'll send the link, it'll yeah. be in there anyway, for sure. Um, who is the second fellow you mentioned about? MX5, he um, knows everything. Mark at uh, Total MX5 Repair. Total MX5 Repair. Yeah. At Mark, he's the, he's the man to talk to. Yeah. So I'll leave links for those in the description below. Southwest uh, Classic Car Club, I've got a mention on the channel quite a few times. Absolutely wicked club. Darren's a moderator for them. Um, you'll see Darren at Hanley Farm Meet and also Greendale, depending on free, free nest and that sort of stuff. But you help out at both of those, don't you? It's a cracking club. Uh, their motto is all wheels welcome. So definitely go and check them out if you're in the Southwest um, and want to do that. And you're going to see Darren at those sort of meets as well. We've got Beading Perfection, who's a sort of a startup um, detailing company. Um, so I'll leave a link to them as well. They're local, they're at the meets as well, but also they work closely um, with Kat, Darren's partner, who is Kat's Automotive on Instagram, Facebook, all detailing sort of stuff, uh, tips and that sort of stuff. So I'll leave links to all of those social media bits and pieces in the link below. Go and check them out if you're over there. Big shout out to Kat today for cleaning the car. Yeah. For the MX-5 show as well. Yeah. Got third space. And, uh, and now he's got a feature, I and mean, this is the biggest accolade, is you've got a feature on Capri Blog. Too, yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I've made it in life. Made it in life. <laughs> you're part of the Cat Meets crew, so yeah. got next next year's Cat Meets reunion, you're going to have to come along. You guys are now watching Capri Vlog on tour. I've had a couple of weeks hiatus. I've been on a sabbatical, trying to organise and sort out a little bit of life, but also garage work and also YouTube channel stuff. So Cat Meets has sort of changed slightly into Capri Vlog on tour because I found I'm not taking Capri out enough because there's so much to do. It's also coming off the road for the winter and I'd like to carry on with these videos and I also want to include a couple of venues as well as people's cars. So Capri Vlog on tour, welcome everybody. It's been great to have you along for this episode. A massive shout out to Darren for bringing the MX-5. I know we've been trying to sort this for bloody months, haven't we? We've finally, finally made it and we've managed to find a rainy day, which is not ideal for a, <laughs> for a soft top. But yeah. We will see Darren in the future on the channel, definitely on some of the cruises as well. He's also coming to the uh, Capri Vlog Social, which will have already been by the time this comes out. Shout out Darren, thanks so much for bringing it out and show us. It's a fantastic car. And yeah, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Yeah, Take it easy guys. Yeah. Until next time, as always, drive safe. <laughs> vlog, uh, on tour. Yeah, that was it, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to start that one again? I'll start that bit again, yeah. shall I? Like this? Yeah, spot on. That's yeah. It. <laughs> Amazing. Gosh, thank you very much. Lovely. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I was. Um... Your green lines at 7k. So this book probably be edited out of the video.